Hello, my name is Charlie Evans, and I am a software developer for the Call for Code team at IBM. Today, I want to discuss an IBM cloud authentication and authorization service called AppID. AppID provides an easy way to allow developers to integrate authentication and authorization into their applications and services with just a few lines of code. With AppID, you can also store user data, such as preferences or information from their public social media profiles, and then use that data to customize the experience of an application. AppID supports several external identity providers, such as Facebook, Google, and even SAML, giving your users flexibility in the way they sign up and authenticate with your applications. AppID can also be used with various IBM Cloud offerings, such as IBM Cloud Kubernetes Service, Cloud Functions, and even Cloud Foundry. Today, I'll walk you through some of the features available using the IBM Cloud web interface, and then show a brief demonstration using a sample Node.js application to tie it all together. So to get started, we're going to open up our IBM Cloud interface here, and we're going to go create an app ID service. To find app ID, you can do it one of two ways. You can either just search for it in the search bar, or you can go to the catalog. In the catalog, if you scroll down to security, you can see here that app ID is available. So we'll click on that. And you only have to pick a couple of things. The first thing is obviously the location that you want to run this at. So ideally a location close to either you or where you plan to run your application. For example, I might pick Dallas. And then the plan that you want. Uh, there is a light plan offering here that gives you, you know, a, a limited set of users and events that you can use. Or if you're on a pay-as-you-go account, you can use the graduated tier, which has the light tier built in, and then anything beyond that is uh, you pay for. Uh, I have already created an app ID instance, so we're going to go look at that. So in your resource list, it'll be under services and software, and then you click on the app ID instance. So this is the screen that you're presented with whenever you first load it up. Um, you can download the sample applications here um, in a few different languages. Um, like I said earlier, we'll kind of go through an example here in a little bit. Um, on the Manage Authentication tab here, this is where you can uh, work with the different identity providers. Um, you can see that you know Facebook, Google, SAML, are supported and as well as cloud directory this is basically the built-in service you can also use ibm id or you can even do something totally custom and then uh, here you can set your authentication authentication settings um, so that might be setting up redirect urls which would be important in the for example in the node.js application we're going to look at later then you can uh, handle some sign-in expiration stuff of the tokens and things like that. You can also enable runtime activity so you can get logs of any time people authenticate or interact with the service. Uh, the cloud directory here, allow, if you're going to use cloud directory, uh, allows you to um, configure the options for sign up and sign in and whether or not you want them to be able to sign up and um, allow them to manage their account from your app. You can set password policies, so you can you know do a number of times that the app the password can't be repeated, and how many times you know they sign in before it locks them out, etc. Um, there's also email templates that you can use, you know, to send welcome emails, password resets, etc. You can set a multi-factor authentication. You can set up a single sign-on as well, and you can configure uh, expiration times for that. And then um, the users tab here is actually um, allowing you to create the users. So um, you can see the list of users here that have been, uh, that have signed up if you have sign up enabled, um, or if you want to control that, you can, can just create them here yourself. And then under the identity providers tab over here is where you configure the other identity provider information. So Facebook, you would, uh, they, there's some instructions here where you can go sign up on the, the Meta for Developers site to get the information you need for that, and you can place it here. It's the same with Google and even IBM ID. 
under profiles and roles, you can set up user profiles um, and various custom attributes that you want to keep track of as users uh, sign up or authenticate. Uh, same with roles. You can, you can give roles to certain users to give them certain uh, authorization for your application. On the login customization tab here, uh, this is pretty neat. You can customize the template that is shown whenever you go to log into the application. And I'll kind of show you this in a little bit. So you can change header colors, you can upload um, you know, various uh, logos, you can even customize you know, the text, and then you can also get you know, a couple of different views here between web and mobile. Applications here, you will need to do this in order to get necessary information for your application. Um, the app that we'll be using later is this app ID sample node here. Uh, and you can see that uh, you get a few pieces of information. You get a client ID, the tenant ID, uh, the secrets, the, you know, the server URL, et cetera. And we'll copy some of these uh, bits of information into the web application. For connections here, this would be if you want to connect this to a Cloud Foundry application. So if you have a Cloud Foundry app and you want to use App ID with it, you would still configure all the other options over here, but you also need to give App ID access to Cloud Foundry here. So you would create connection and you would, you know, pick your information in here. Uh, service credentials would be used if, if you need to make use of this outside, uh, you know, IBM Cloud. And then of course you can review the plan that you're on here. That was a quick overview of the uh, interface here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to flip over to the Node.js application, and then I will show you what pieces of information you place where. So here you can see I have this application. Uh, the app, you can, you can actually go get this application on GitHub. It's under the IBM Cloud Security uh, GitHub organization, and then it's just called App ID Sample Node. So this is just a, an Express.js application um, that uh, uses uh, a package called Passport for uh, middleware, the, the authentication middleware. And of course it has the IBM Cloud App ID um, uh, package as well. And then this file is basically just getting everything configured, right? So it uses uh, you know, session and it initializes Passport. Um, there's a, a web app strategy here, which if we go to this uh, get, uh, get app ID config method, you'll see here that this is where it's going to try to get your configuration. So we're actually going to edit this uh, local dev config JSON file in just a moment. But um, if you're you know, running it in Kubernetes or in, in uh, Cloud Foundry, there are a couple of sections for that as well. And that's basically it. Um, and the application will run locally on port 3000 unless you configure it differently. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute when we, when we spit it up. Now, as far as the local dev config file, this is what it'll look like when you clone it. This uh, redirect URI here needs to be added. It is not a part of it, but it is needed. Um, and you would just redirect this to whatever the URL of your application is. Uh, in this case, it's localhost 3000. And you can see here that there's these other pieces of information that we need to fill in. So we're gonna go and get those out of IBM Cloud. So we'll go get our client ID first. Oh, it's under applications, right? So we'll get our client ID here. And we'll just copy paste each of these values in. Okay, now we have all of our values in, um, so we should be able to just run the application. So I've already run an npm install here, but that'll be the first thing you do when you clone this. Um, but since I've done that, we're gonna npm run start. Application is running, so let's open it up in the browser and see what it looks like. Perfect. So you see here it says, welcome to your app ID sample, and there is a login button. So when we click this login button, we're actually redirected to the instance uh, of App ID in IBM Cloud. So you can see here in the URL, it says US South App ID Cloud IBM Com. And this is where you can authenticate, right? So because I have Facebook and Google um, enabled, 
if you if we look here under our manage authentication right they're enabled the buttons will show up here if i disable these then they will get dis they will not show up here's where you enter email and password that is how we have that configured here under cloud directory so if we go to cloud directory settings we have email and password selected if we switch this to username and password then that box will change and here uh, we can sign up so let's create an account sign up um, you can see here that uh, we, we're gonna get a confirmation email and um, you know we can verify and you can sign into the app and we can also go back and look over here in our IBM cloud interface and look at our users so you can see here that the account I created is here and we can actually view the details of the user in here we can assign roles you know we can see uh, predefined attributes uh, you know when, when the user was created and um, you know what type they are etc what's what the current status is so uh, I you know I have to go to this confirmation email to verify and then I'll be able to sign into the application I can get the copy ID here, et cetera. So in summary, AppID is a great tool to give developers an easy way to add authentication and authorization to their applications. With multiple options for identity providers, you allow users a fast and secure way to sign up and sign into your applications. For more information on AppID, be sure to check out the IBM Cloud documentation. Also, please feel free to reach out to myself or my colleagues on Slack with any questions that you may have Thank you and have a wonderful day.